So as far as I'm concerned, you can't have too many windows in an RV. The back wall of our J-Feather, where the bathroom is, didn't have any windows, and I can understand why they did that, but I wanted to put a window in there so we could get more light, see the outdoors. So I ordered a window from Jayco, 36 wide by 22 high, I believe. I was just gonna trace the window out on the back uh, of the trailer, but I decided I needed to make a template. So I had a piece of quarter inch MDF that would work well. The handle of the window stuck out, so I had to cut a uh, an opening in the template so the handle would drop down through, and I could get it. I could trace out the window. Traced out the window and uh, cut it to fit. So now I'm going to screw this template to the back of the trailer, trace it out, and cut out the opening. Let's see how it goes. I'm at the storage yard, and. Uh, we're heading to the mountains tomorrow, going up to, not sure where we're going. It's up in the mountains in the Blue Ridge. My sister calls it forest therapy. And I have one project that I need to complete before we go, and it's a big one. I woke up 4.30 this morning thinking about it. I've been putting it off because it's, uh, it's a big project. It's not unlike the skylight project. I'm going to put a window right there. I'm going to cut a big hole in that back wall and see what happens. I mounted the template that I made yesterday. Got it screwed to the trailer and I'm gonna trace out the template. This is butyl tape, half inch by I think eighth inch. Okay, this is a compression ring that screws into a channel. We're camping here at Lake Powhatan, right outside of Asheville, and I want to show you the new addition, the new window. It's amazing what a difference it's made to be able to look out. This is really now my favorite place to read when I'm in this camper. Looks pretty good. Great job, honey. Thank you. That's a wrap. Is that a wrap? That's a wrap.